M0FXB. Let's take a look at the Alinco DM330 Super Power Supply. Super compact, but the functionality and the connections, in my opinion, are awesome. So it's the 30 amp and 10 amp with a cigarette lighter connection and USB. We've got some instruction manuals. We've got some safety information. I'm just lifting the box here for the first time. This thing is, is meaty. It's meaty. Look at those vents. It's quite heavy. I wanted something compact, but this is heavy. I, you're not going to have, I, I feel like you're going to be completely confident with this. This is a power supply for your ham radio, your CB gear. I think that's the best looking power supply I've ever seen. So you've got amp, volts, on off, voltage adjust, noise offset. If you know about switch mode amplifiers, you'll know why you need that. And here we've got two amps. That means it's going to power my all-star node and my hotspots, which we've got here in the background. So here's a little all-star node, quite a micro one there, um, which we'll be powering shortly. We've also got my hotspot and we're going to plug all these and a radio that I've got lying around into this supply. But I just want to show you the front. You've got these quick connectors and go easy with these because these break on all power supplies quite easy. Um, of course, the cigarette lighter, you have to have that USB there and just turning it round. I'm going to turn it round like so. And I'm going to plug in one of my older radios, I think. It does come with a, let's call it a kettle lead in England. Um, but yeah, uh, a mains connector fused. And what else we got here at the back? It says, have a look, max, oh, 30 amp here. And then you can actually turn on if you want to adjust the voltage. If you go back to the front, so if we leave it on not adjust, and just look at that, look at that for heat dissipation. This is metal, this is solid. Just a quick one underneath, rubber feet and some more vents there. So that's what it looks like underneath. Back to the front there. So see the voltage adjust. Now it won't do anything. It's got like a, a setting in the middle where it sort of sits nicely. And that's good. That's to let you know that's where it should be. Um, but when you t flick that switch at the back, you can adjust the voltage right down if you want. And uh, for different, you know, items that need a lower, lower voltage. And there you are, switching power supply. So this is, although it, I think it's been out a couple of years, but this to me, it feels like one of the best compact mind. I've got big ones here. Uh, power supplies that I've ever seen. So before we end the video, we'll just turn it on. It's quiet. I was expecting it to be noisier, but I'm sure that once, if you key the mic on the radio, let's just power it on. I've just connected it to the back. And uh, so we're powering my, my hotspot. Uh, my node's plugged in here. And we've still got a spare one here if I want to charge my phone. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. So I can pretty much power, and I tend to be listening most of the time, one, two, three, four devices at the same time, plus a couple of phones and a node and another item. So I'm, I'm completely happy with this uh, power supply. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.